What's up, family? This is Jay Floyd, a.k.a. Big Bro. Y'all just wanted to come in and chop it up. Now, listen, I can't even contain my excitement today because um, I just got packaged. Just got packaged in the mail. And um, a real quick story. I know I know y'all probably tired of hearing me tell stories. But listen, real quick story, man. Um, you know, my, my entire goal this year, man, you know, even before the pandemic, before... We got quarantined, and you know, there was kind of like a change in plans. I had already hit hit a wall, man. I had, you know, January, February, I was doing a lot, man. I was, you know, just exhausting myself, man. You know, and I have a, um, I have a wellness coach, you know, and I reached out, I have set up an appointment with my coach, man, and talked to her, told her everything was going on, you know what I'm saying? My, my uh, you know, I just wasn't feeling it, man. And yo, so she told me, you know, take a couple steps back, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, pull back on a few things, and then the things you do go forward on, you know, you can you can have more focus, more focus. So, you know, it started occurring to me, you know, sit down, praying about it, man. It was, you know, one of the things I'm always telling people, man, is, you know, doing too many good things is the enemy of doing a great thing, right? Trying to be too good, man. Doing this, 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 this. Instead of, you know, saying no to a couple of things and focus on being great at that handful of things that you're great at. Right? So that that's where I was at this year, man. And I um I took work, I took heed to that. I did that. So, you know, February I pulled things back. I started to undergo uh rebranding in a lot of things that I do, man. So you you know, I was doing way too much way too many things so I I stripped it down to the handful of things that I think that I'm best at and then I kind of rebranded them so that I'm doing them with the best intent right so that I'm doing them the most natural right like so if I'm if I'm of my podcast you know instead of me just being like yo Jay Floyd speaks life it's like well what does that mean you know I had to really sit down and be like, what's the most natural way that I affect people? When I meet people, what's the what's the way that I really chop it up with them? What do people who know me as? So people know me as Big Bro, you know? Well, I got a lot of young soldiers out there, y'all, a lot of young lions I chop it up with. That's what they know me as, and this is who I am, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to embrace that and just bring a little bit more of that. So that's why you saw the rebranding, man, of a lot of things that I do, you know? And I decided that when I... You know, my main focus is as a husband and a father. You know, I'm a man of God, I'm a husband and I'm a father. One, two, and three. Those is always going to be top three for me, period. You know what I'm saying? So I got to always attack those first. And then any time that I spend outside of that should bring more glory to God, should bring more glory to my wife, should bring more glory to my family. You know what I'm saying? So they should feed those top three. You know, so I'm always pouring into those top three. And even when I step out of that, it's things that's going to shine the right light on those top three. So if when I, with me stepping out and I, nowadays I pour all of my time into, boom, the Big Bro podcast. You know, I want to shine some light on helping people be that voice for the community. I'm going to be that voice. I'm, I'm going to embrace who I am as that voice. 44 year old black man, I'm going to embrace that. And I'm going to shine that light and be that to the fullest. And show other 44-year-olds that that's what it's like. That's what it's all about. Show people younger than that. Show people older than that. That, man, we just need to chop it up, man. This is how we need to get down. You know? Be that natural voice. I'm going to do those things. Uh, when, when, when I start to achieve any kind of success in that, I'm going to reach out for the right things, right? So I had the opportunity to link with some really good companies you know right now is the time for uh you know after we pass juneteenth and the month of july is really a blackout month man and that don't mean that you got to be like oh man i'm only going to black people nah but if we know that as a community black people are struggling and black people are the ones saying get off my neck not you know not just physically off my neck but economically off my neck, you know, socioeconomically off my neck. And I think the world is hearing us and the world is saying, what can we do? So right now, one of the things for this month, what we sh- one of the things that we kind of set out to do is what we call blackness is, is pouring back into some black companies, man, black owned companies 
because that's one of the ways that we can start to even them scales, man. One of the reasons why police can do what they do to us is because we are economically impoverished in a lot of areas and we don't have a lot of opportunities. So let's start trying our best to slide that scale, right? So I started working with a lot of these companies, man. Greenwood Dist reached out to me and, you know, they wanted to work with me. You know, they were like, look, you ain't got five million followers like some superstars out here, but the following you do have and the words that you do say, we like that. We want to work with that. We want that message to be with our brand. So let's do this. So look, I rock their shirts. I, 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 I reach out and, and advertise, man. I'm always throwing up promo codes for y'all because I know people love a discount. Y'all, I'm always going to have a promo code for you. 10 off, 20 off. I'm going to knock them percentages off for y'all, man, because y'all supporting, you know? So look, man, look, I'm super amped about this. Uh, my man, my man, Chef Eric Wells reached out to me recently and was like, look, I love what you're doing, man. I'm getting ready to make another TV appearance. Hit me with one of them shirts. What I got to do, how much I got to pay. I want to represent you and what you doing, bro. Chef Wells is one of my big bros, man, and he is one of my role models in what I do. Look, I was like, listen, man, my, I don't hold inventory, man. I just, I'm a representative of the brand. I'm an ambassador. But look, you can have mine. I only got one right now, but you can have it. I haven't even worn it yet. You can have it. So I went over his house. Boom, you can have it. He was like, man, I'm going to rock this. I'm going to rock this. What do you need, man? I was like, man, just rock it. That's all I need. So he rocked it on TV to bring, to bring, bring awareness to that brand, to bring awareness to me, and to show the kind of person he is. See how everybody wins in that? That's the kind of thing we need to do. But because I gave him my shirt, I didn't have one left. So of course I reached out and uh, I had to get I had to get linked up with another one, man. And um, look, man, I, it just came in today, man. Look, and um, I got it sitting here. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. Y'all see them kicks too. That's the Unius, man. I put up the link for those too, man. That's also a black-owned sneaker company, man. I went and, and researched and found them, man. There ain't too many of them, man. It's actually, it's like none. So, man, look. I'm going to post the links where y'all can get some kicks, where y'all can get some shirts. If y'all want those, get them. I'll, I'll, I got another one coming in, another pair coming in. I can't wait to, I can't wait to unbox these and show y'all, man. But listen, man, look. It's blackness, man. Buy black. Keep being yourself, man. Love love each other, man. I don't care what color y'all are. We all need to come together, and this is part of it, man. This is all part of it, yo. So this your big bro, man. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you to everybody who listens to my podcast. I got way more stuff coming up, man. All right? I love y'all, and keep rocking, man. One.